Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to be installing a theme in Drupal 8. Now, there are a lot of themes out there, so if you don't like the one we install here, install a different one. It's really nice and easy, and a big improvement in Drupal 8. So let's get started. So now we have some content. We know how to add and manage our users. We know how to add and manage our contact form. We need to, we know how to use our menus. Let's go ahead and make this site look a little bit better by looking for some themes. If we click download and extend from drupal.org, we can head to the themes tab. Now, a lot of these themes are going to be sort of development and parent themes. We want to just use a sort of standard looking theme. So I'm going to go core compatibility and click 8.x. Since we're on Drupal 8, this is important for any theme that you're looking to install. We're going to now scroll down and the one I'm looking for is down here a little bit, but it's nice and clean. It is called clean blog. Nice and easy. Let's actually head to our site and let's click on appearance. Now, if we want to install a new theme, we can click install new theme right here. Now, just like we installed modules, you can actually paste the path in like so. So let's come to our theme page. Let's right click on the development version of this clean blog. You can find a theme that you like for yourself. Now, this isn't the only place you can find themes. If you Google around for Drupal 8 themes, you'll find some more. You'll even find some premium ones on paid sites that have some nice extra features. Let's go ahead and just click copy link address. This is a nice clean and easy one that's instantly going to make our Drupal site look less bad because let's face it the Bartik theme that comes with Drupal is not and has never been great so let's go ahead and paste this path in here just like we did when we installed a module and let's click install it's now installed let's head back to the theme page here and as you can see, we have Bartik 8.2, and we have 7, which is the admin theme. But if you see, we have Bootstrap. Now, you'll notice something really interesting. A lot of themes occasionally have a base theme required. So this theme is requires the base theme of Bootstrap to operate correctly. Okay, let's actually click Install New Theme once more. Let's head back to the theme projects and let's scroll up until we find the bootstrap theme. So let's keep going up. We have Barrio, Bootstrap Rainbow, Open Church. Let's keep scrolling up because Bootstrap is pretty high at the top here. And let's keep going. And there it is, Bootstrap. Here we have Bootstrap 3 for Drupal. Let's go ahead and click tar.gz and let's copy this link address right here where this current video is the 3.0 hyphen beta 2. Let's click install new theme, paste this in here once more. And after this installs, we should be ready to use our new themes. Okay, let's go install newly added themes. All right, and let's come and we now see that we have the Drupal 3 and we now have bootstrap clean block. What we want to do is click this install and set as default. This is going to do two things. It's going to enable the theme and it's going to make it the theme that anyone sees when they're on the front of our website. You'll notice the administrative section of our site is still in this seven theme, considering this is not Bartik. So let's come to the front of our site. Let's click back to site. And you can now see uh, the site has been totally transformed. It looks completely different. In fact, if we hide this administrative toolbar, or let's actually go ahead and just open this up in an incognito window here so I can see this without any sort of admin menu. You can see this looks very far from the base Drupal theme. And if we click level up, you can see we have our posts. They're coming in as nice blog posts. So this is using Bootstrap. If you want to get in here to the CSS and edit it, you can. Our tags show up fine. Uh, we have some nice stuff. And the footer has all of these social links in here. So we can now, from here, click About Us and see what a page looks like. We have our headline. We have our page. We have our content here. And our contact form, which we just saw. So by no means is this perfect. You might not want this photo of horses on here. In fact, if you wanted to get rid of this photo of horses on here, you'd want to click appearance, come to our theme and click settings. And you can see we have buttons where we can change the type of button size. We can change what type of buttons, containers. We can give them a fluid container uh, for forms. 
Uh, we can change some things with images. So you have responsive images or a default image shape. We have uh, some tables settings where you can make them bordered or not bordered, condensed. So there's a lot of nice little things. And you'll see if you keep scrolling down, site header. And now for the site header, for not to be this default image, you want to actually select the field for the particular type of content. For instance, we had this image field and you would want this image field now to be used as the site header. Now, as a word of warning here, let's come to our page and actually check this out. I'm going to click back to site here. You can see we still have this horse photo for our contact form. If we go home, you can see we also still have this horse photo. But if we come to our my edited post, you'll see we have this giant Shia LaBeouf photo. So it's using the photo from our post as the main heading post. And if our page or a piece of content doesn't have a photo, it's using this sort of default horse thing. To get rid of this photo or to change the default photo, you are going to want to replace that image that's in the theme itself. Now, since this video and this tutorial isn't on a isn't a tutorial on covering all of the deep down features of this theme, I'm not going to be showing you that. However, there are tons of Drupal 8 themes, so keep looking until you find the one you like. You can install it through the same process and the settings are always going to be in appearance in your particular themes settings. Many themes will have settings and many themes won't have settings. Some will have more than others and some will have a lot more advanced features. So check out, let me know if you find any themes that you really like. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. If you want to purchase the rest of the series before they're available on YouTube, head over to store.leveluptutorials.com and help support the creation of these free tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.